Despite existing laws, a cascading LSD torrent is upon us. Three-day binges are becoming stylish. Dosages escalate. While authorities agree that LSD is not physically habit-forming, it can become psychologically habituating, and not only for teenagers. Worse than psychological dependence, for some, is the emergence of the drug as a fashionable commodity. Its increasing usage, especially in acceptable circles, has prompted a unique variety of testimonials. A Los Angeles girl declares, I mean, a lot of people say, oh, it can make you sterile and it can make you lose your sight or deteriorate your brain or all this kind of stuff. I don't think that having children could make up for what I'm going to get out of it eventually. Because um, when you start getting into philosophy and you talk about that, but... Um, I mean, you start saying, why am I alive, man, you know? And uh, if, you, if you are ready to die when you die and you know what's happening or you think you know what's happening, then um, that's a lot better than having 10 kids. It'd be nice if people could get it as a graduation present from college or something. It'd be a beautiful thing. The graduates of a Southern California prep school have already implemented the young lady's suggestion. Some 67 of them recently celebrated their convocation by turning on with LSD. Now, if there's any doubt that LSD looms as the new chic, one can only note a recent Manhattan wedding where LSD mixed with pineapple juice was served at a penthouse reception. The 80 guests tripped out on views of the East River while the altruistic newlyweds tiptoed away on their own honeymoon trip. So that they won't be considered square, vulnerable students bow to pressures to dip into acid-laden communal punch served at large gatherings. Bacchanalian romps on the lawn and mixed skinny-dipping revelries have become commonplace amongst the acid heads. A pigtailed brunette was asked whether she had sex, had sex under LSD. No, I wouldn't want to. I really wouldn't. Yeah. You? No. you can you can be with somebody you like to be with, and just touch their cheek or hold their hand, and it's the most beautiful thing in the world. You don't need sex under LSD. You don't have to. You don't have to do that. It's it's. I re I really think it's just. I don't know. It's, it's a weird trip. It's a weird trip, because because you're so satisfied with just holding hands that going going for more than, than that isn't beautiful anymore. The sexual element is discreetly downgraded among the pariahs of LSD and emporia like the psychedelic bookshop in San Francisco, which purveys LSD guidebooks, quarterlies, lecture courses, and atonal music while avoiding more prurient merchandise. 